Shut up and sit down. Huh? Huh? Oh. Hey, you scallywags! Um, just walking by and came across this box here. Strange. I wonder what's inside the box. Hmm? Let's, uh, knock, shall we? Hello, is anyone in there? Knocking harder now! Huh? Well, that's rather disturbing. Um, box full of people? Oh, well, don't worry, uh, we'll uh, get you out soon. Um, hold your horses. Uh, Hey, you skellywags! Today we're looking at this box, or figures, Make Maintenance Team B. This has been the source of controversy. And now, no one's talking about it really, except for, yeah, about the chase figures and that. Here are the back. Figures you could get. I say could because one of them might be a chase, which I don't really want. I just want that robot arm lady. And the dude with a mohawk. As long as I've got those two, I'll be happy. Let's get this thing open. Plastic. Off. Right. Let's see what goodies this holds. Look at them. All boxed up. It's like Christmas times six. Come out of there. If I did get these as a present, I wouldn't mind. Stack them up here. Right, let's start. This one, you lucky fella or lass. So, here we go. What have we got inside? This guy. I think that's it. Check inside, make sure there's nothing left inside there. Here we go, uh, pliers. Screwdriver. Here's the figure. Looking very. Um, what's that? His name? McFly. Like. McFly Senior. Or Marty. His dad. I can't remember his name. Yeah. I like in his design. Right. So, articulation. His head moves. No neck movement. All the way around like that, saving on costs with the neck. Arm up here, all the way around. Ben's, oh, nice Ben there, look at that. Here, that new style hand or wrist thing. Yeah. Same for this side. There you go. So, where I'm in. Movement up here, down there as well. Put this belt thing. One thing that closes is uh, Jean Claude or oh, Team B for balls. And the swivel up there, thigh, and up in this weird way. So, yeah, the mold is a bit different. This bends all the way back there, nice. Down, up the foot, rocker there, that pivot. And good. Right, so let's put this. Ah, uh, look, he's got that hand 
with a weird bit inside it. So, yeah, look. So you won't be able to hold your normal accessories. These, though, can hold. It's smaller, I think, but kind of. And this one, put in there. Uh, yeah, I think so. They can hold the smaller accessories. Look. See? So this can pop in there. Nice and securely. Not well, the best way you should be holding your tools though, I might add. You'll be able to, to close them. Close the bag you've got for them or whatever. Anyway, feeling good so far. Looks good. Let's get them in a little pose here. We'll move on to the next. Yeah. You go there. Don't move. Don't even think about it. Next one. Who's going to be next? Lady. Let's see what you got. Is that it? Yep, I think so. Nothing in there. So she got this cool accessory. Mjolnir! A hammer. Let's have a look at you. Oh, she looks alright. Better than some of the others I've seen. This thing is loose, so it moves about. You can take it off if you want. Yeah. No movement there for the ponytail. Right, so uh, let's see what she's like moving. Articulation, the head. You can move around and do all that stuff. Arm goes about there. Uh, this bit looks like it's coming up a bit. And all the way around. Nice tight bend there as well, awesome. Moves there. And this as well, the new style wrists. And some movement up there. Yeah. Down there. And uh, this has got another bit on the wrist there, different to the other side. Jean Claude! Oh, Mecca Minge. Leg goes up easier than that fella. The twist there at the thigh. Uh, doesn't go back very much. There's the thigh and all the way up here. It goes down, up and pivot there. She has toe. Which is a bit stuck on there, on mine. Let me fix you. Well, here, for example, yeah, movie. This one there, it was kind of, yeah, it'll fix itself, I'm sure. So let's pose her with Mjolnir. It's a bit stiff, so be careful, very thin arm. So that looks very small for this uh, hammer. I'm gonna have to just force it in. I mean, it's not gonna break, it's just, it'll... there you go. See, look, it's all right. We'll stretch it out a bit, maybe. Get all like that, I suppose. That looks a bit silly. It's those weird hands, look. They're just, yeah, anyway. Good thing is that I think you could probably change them with uh, any other hands you might have. If you want to hold any guns? There, that's all right. So we're holding up that hammer as you do, looking very pleased with herself, right up high in the air like that. Right, next one. 
and you stay there. So what do we have next? Next up we've got this guy. He is um Yeah, what's that? Some board or something, clipboard. Here's a hat! Hat person! Uh, oh, that's not too great on the back there. QC issues. Here is his clipboard with a hole there. Here he is. The figure. Different to the first guy. His neck looks a bit odd. Look at that. He's got some problems there. Oh. Oh. Maybe just a matter of straightening it up, but look at that. Oh, my neck! Alright, here, yeah, just straighten it up like that and he looks fine. Though he doesn't really look fine, look at his face. Looks, looks like he's in, he's in agony. Yeah, good mold. Different to the other guy, so that's good. Not all the same. Similar. No articulation, head moves, as we've seen. Arm up all the way round bends there too wrists up here movement down here movement and here's Jean Claude just balls leg up again with this weird mold that kind of you have to angle it a bit like that and then twist it with the thigh bit all the way up down up movement there no toe for him hat backwards no sits the top of his head unnaturally Look like some from E17 there and this one over the head Forward style, kind of. Yeah, that looks right. Push it down a bit more, I think. There. Yeah. And this hand, look at that. He's got problems with this hand. <laughs> Made specifically for holding this. Oh dear. Doesn't stay in there that well though. There, that'll do. Can't move him very much though. He'll definitely just pop off or fall out. Right, so you go back there. So who do we have next? Next up we've got... Hey! Mohawk! Mr. T-Head dude! Screwdriver! Pliers! Pliers closed! Ooh. Here we go! He uh, modelled his look after Mr. T after being a fan of the A-Team for years and years. There's the same as the uh, first guy, really. Articulation! So the same stuff we are used to with the first guy, even got the same accessories except it uh, looks like seemingly extra pliers, let's see, getting worried we don't have the, that Furiosa type lass, where is she, where is she, oh here she is, speaking, speak her name and she shall appear, let's see what her stuff is. There we go. Ooh, that 
wrenchy type thing. Here she is. Ho oh, ho, look at her cybernetic arm, robot arm. Right, this there. So yeah, very similar to the uh, first lady we saw. Boobs are different. But the rest, seemingly the same, besides that cybernetic arm and hair. Right, articulation, it moves, does that stuff. This robot arm goes up here. Fragile, turns all the way. Bends there nicely. Moves there. Yeah, could do with a bit of weathering, maybe. A bit more silver or something. Might do that. Bring it out a bit more. Bring out those details. Here, this does. This feels a lot more fragile, though, so be careful. There we go. So let's try this thing which looks too big for a hand. Mm, I suppose if you do it like that. There. Yeah, you can hold it like that, I suppose. You've got fully grasp or clasp it, so kind of pushing them open to hold uh, on either side. Thumb and fingers on either side like that. Still stretches it open. Fair. I don't want to stretch out that robot arm too much. It's the only one. That'll do. Now we to store it there. Some of the other guys can hold them, I suppose. They've all got those, uh, or three of them, have got the fanny pack thing. Last but not least, it worked out just fine because I don't really like the last guy that I'm going to be pulling out. Yeah! It is him. So yeah, this is the, my least favourite. Uh, so I wouldn't have minded if this was the chase figure. It looks like it is the guy um, as advertised. And he comes with these two. Screwdriver. It's the same as that guy there. Right, let's have a look at your... Ah, oh, actually. It looks better than in the pictures. Yes, yeah, the so same as the other, the two of them we've got so far. Blanky. Yeah, so much of it will be the same. go so so far as expected and what I was you know kind of what I was expecting from this set nothing too major um, just really what I wanted for customs and things oh wait hold on looks like I had let's place this I had uh, a drop from someone um, just leave it there don't know who it would be for Oh, yeah, yeah, the first guy, because, yeah, he was, all of them got the same accessories, so it must be his. So, yeah, let's uh, do some comparisons. So, comparisons will do a bit different today. We've got here, um, Lass from Team A, just standard there. My custom uh, snake figure here. From uh, some Joy Toy Parts custom head. Shooting at him. <laughs> For no reason. Put him there. And then we've got Skeleton Forces Type C, the new lot, the Vengeance. There'll be a video of him soon.
I've got here from the Salute Golden Legion. I refer to as Thera or Charlie's Theron, the first of Joy Toy. So I'm gonna have it here so we can compare with Furiosa, Charlie's Theron. So the face of this one looks more like Charlie's here. It is primarily for the look of Mad Max Fury Road. That's how they uh, go together. Charlize's scissors. Sure they're all standing or kneeling doing what they want here oh so that guy <laughs> and her anyway final thoughts on these guys is very i really do like this set um if you're able to get it at a decent price i was able to get uh knock off some money off from the locker toys with my points and yeah so you're getting six figures with a, a chance of one of those chase figures, which I don't think are too impressive, but, you know, be worth some money, I guess. But these are great. If you're looking for some, you know, custom fodder and things like that, they've all got their own characters as well. So different from each other. A few, a few of the bucks are the same, but otherwise, a uh, good little pack for that. And welcome to the new premiere show from Skellywax TV featuring... Headwear called If the Hat Fits. This lovely hat here, premium hat. We're going to check to see if this hat fits on people. Here, the guy, he, uh, the hat that they came with, it kind of fits. But not really, but yes, if you force it. Hat man. And here with the McFly guy um, to cover his hair we will see if this hat fits and kind of but you can still see the awkward haircut underneath so yes no maybe so next we have lady ponytail and it, no, it just fits there. And here we have B.A. Barocus uh, with white hair. And it, yes, it fits, but a bit loose. Could he be the winner, you say? Maybe. And now we have Furiosa. Oh, it just sits atop her head like that, but maybe it looks kind of cool. So she could be a winner. Lastly, we have this guy. And ooh, seems to fit quite nicely on him. Who's the winner? You decide. <laughs> 